Meditation is a Hindu tradition whereby you reach into your own mind to take control. The practice dates back thousands of years, so there's gotta be something to it, right? Hey friends, Lacey Green here for D News. Scientists say that meditation is very, very good for you. The ancient idea behind meditation is that it centers you, calms you, and helps you find your inner strength. And there's a growing body of data to back that up. Recently, a study published in the journal Social Cognitive and Effective Neuroscience found that meditating can decrease anxiety by as much as 39%. That's just as effective as some of the anxiety drugs that are out there. The study was done on regular, everyday people, no meditation expertise, and they studied a type of meditation called mindfulness meditation. This is one of the old and most traditional forms of meditation where you try to focus on one specific thought and you try to keep your mind there for 20 minutes minimum without thinking about anything else. You might focus on a mantra like, I can handle this. Or you might focus on your breathing in and out. Seems simple enough, right? But I've found that it's actually really hard. We live in a world where we're constantly bombarded with new stimulation and things to think about all the time. Breaking out of my spazzy daily mindset is actually pretty tough. It does get easier the more you do it though. Participants in the study meditated four times a week for 20 minutes and before and after each session, their brains were scanned using specialized arterial spin labeling imaging that captures brain processes. The scientists found that meditation activated the ventromedial prefrontal cortex, which controls worrying. It also activated the anterior cingulate cortex, which controls thinking and emotion, thereby decreasing anxiety. Anxiety management isn't the only benefit of mindfulness meditation either. It shouldn't come as a surprise that with all the focus on focusing that you'll be more focused it can also improve your concentration and your attention span. It's been tied with reductions in production of the stress hormone called cortisol. It's been associated with an increase in nitric oxide, which is a gas that dilates blood vessels and therefore lowers your blood pressure. But wait, there is more, as if that wasn't awesome enough. Long-term practice of meditation has been correlated with greater levels of empathy for other people, allowing those who practice it to be in better touch with other people's challenges and to respond to them in compassionate ways. The journal PLOS One reports reports that fMRI scans of expert meditators versus novices revealed higher empathetic brain activity in response to the sounds of other people's emotional distress. So that's why I'm thinking like maybe we should all be meditating. We could solve some of the world's greatest problems. We do all need to just take a chill pill and I think we could all stand to think and care about each other just a little bit more. All right, folks, thanks for joining me for D News. Down below, let me know, have you meditated before and what was your experience with it? You can also share your thoughts with us at D News. Until next time.